Hello everyone, welcome to Kelly's Art Throb. I'm Kelly, and as requested, today I'm sharing a time-lapse watercolor painting of a prairie-style glass window. I got quite a little ways through this painting before I started recording because originally I wasn't going to record it at all. Sometimes it's just better for my art if I don't record because then I don't have to think about camera angles and lighting and whether there are shadows being cast in a weird way. I mean, don't get me wrong, I really do love to make videos, but always recording is kind of like killing the golden goose. There's no video without the art and creating art is still a very organic process for me instead of a methodical one. Here's where you can see that stained glass appearance, the way the colors blended into each other and created an imperfect, perfect replication of handcrafted stained glass. Prairie style, in case you aren't familiar with it, was an architectural style that began around the turn of the 20th century in Chicago, around the same time as the arts and crafts movement. The architect I most associate with prairie style is Frank Lloyd Wright, but there were others as well. The arts and crafts movement was in part a turning away from mass production and a reaction to the Industrial Revolution.
The technological advances during the turn of this century, with the advent of social media and AI, echo some of the concerns around revolutionary changes and what happened over a hundred years ago. It got me thinking about the prairie style and arts and crafts movement and a prairie style stained glass watercolor painting was the result of my daydreams. I wanted to imitate the kind of stained glass employed in Frank Lloyd Wright's architecture. I think without realizing a lot of my art has been influenced by the cantilever profiles and the rectangular geometry of Wright's buildings. They're so distinctive that even people who don't know anything about art, design, or architecture recognize his work and know it's his. As far as the windows go, I especially like that the stained glass adds a unique design element. And while it's beautiful, it serves a function. They weren't merely decorative. I went so far as to adding some silver over the lines to add some shine so that it would look like the lead that holds the panes of glass in place. I wanted this stained glass to look very intentional, like it is a combination of all the other glass used in the building, and it ties the whole design together. Of course it's not, it's just my piece of art, but it was the fantasy of what it would be like if I could have designed a window to put in one of those buildings. I hope you enjoyed the process and that it sparked some imagination for you for your creative endeavors. If you'd like to see more of this type of art, let me know in the comments. And by the way, I am offering this painting unframed on my website, listed in the description if you're interested. In the meantime, take good care, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.